This is the Giant Propel, the bike of Dylan Gronewig and rider for Team Bike Exchange Jayco. I'm going to tell you all the specs of the bike, pick out any cool details, measure it, weigh it and do that all important free up sound check. The Propel is Giant's most aero road bike and it's finished in this lovely blue colour which is the team's custom colourway. Matched up to the carbon frame are the Kadex carbon wheels. These also use carbon fibre spokes. These ones are 65mm deep and then paired up to the wheels are Vittoria Corsa Speed tubular tyres. These have got these distinctive tan sidewalls and are 26mm wide. Now moving down to the centre of the bike, we have the Shimano Dura-Ace 9200 chainset. This bike is of course fitted with the latest group set from Shimano. And it's interesting to see that Dylan Gronewagen has decided to run the larger chainring options here. So we have a 54 tooth on the outer chainring and a 42 on the inner ring. The crank arms themselves are 172.5 millimetres long and fitted to the cranks are Shimano Dura-Ace pedals. Just down by the chain set, we have an anodized blue aluminium chain catcher to help keep the chain in place in case we're over those bumpy terrains or bumpy roads when Dylan Gronewagen is laying down the power in those big sprint finishes. The wheels are fitted with Shimano's Dura Ace disc brake rotors, 160 millimeters at the front and 140 at the rear. The bike is built up with the latest Dura Ace 9200 group set, hydraulic disc of course and with that wireless shifting option from the shifters down to the mechs themselves. The mechs use a single battery and are linked together using a thin DI2 cable which is slightly different to the original 9100 group set. The cranks feature Shimano's dual-sided power meter and then tucked behind the crank arms themselves is a little magnet which is bonded into place. The bike uses this for the power meter to register the rider's cadence. And then the bottom bracket is a same as ceramic bearing option to help try and make this bike and drivetrain as efficient as possible. Moving to the rear of the bike, we have this beautiful Dura Ace rear mech, which features a longer cage than what we're slightly familiar with, and that's to account for the wide range of cassette options that this mech is capable of working with. The cassette is an 11 to 30 tooth, and then if we move up to the saddle, we have a Kadex Boost, Kadex being Giant's in-house brand. This features carbon fiber saddle rails. These are then carefully shaped to match up to the base of the saddle, which is also made from carbon fiber, and then bonded together. This creates a near seamless join between the two. It has a large central channel running down the middle to help keep Dylan as comfortable as possible during all of these long stage races that he'll be doing through the summer. And then, interestingly, this frame design uses what's called a seat mask. We don't have the traditional seat post which slides inside the frame. This section goes over the top. Then moving down from here, we have a 3D printed race number holder. This is fitted into place by removing the seat mast and sliding it over the top, which means there's no bolts or fixings to hold it in place and gives a really minimalist, sleek design look to that. Moving to the front of the bike, the main thing that stands out here is this incredible stem. Not only is it incredibly long, we've got 140 millimeters here, it has this nice little cover over the top to help smooth the airflow over the brake hoses, which route out of the stem and up and over the top where they join back into the frame. The reason we have that long stem is because Dylan is using a size small frame, which has a much shorter top tube. Therefore, the long stem helps him to get his position just right. Matched up to this stem is a 420 millimeter wide handlebar. Now this appears to be wrapped in what looks like particularly thick bar tape to help keep him as comfortable as possible. Now we've got the Dura-Ace 9200 shifters which I've already mentioned connect wirelessly to the rear derailleur and the front derailleur. But what I've just noticed here is there is one small shift button just down under the drops. This is a sprint button which Dylan can use to shift the rear derailleur down into a harder gear. Now interestingly, he doesn't have one fitted to the other side of the handlebar which means in a sprint, when using the drops, he only has the option to change into a harder gear. Hmm, bold. The head unit mount is a one-piece design machined from aluminium and is made by Giant themselves, and it mounts onto the bike using two of the bolts which hold the stem faceplate on. 
Finishing the bike off are the giant bottle cages. These appear to be some sort of carbon composite design rather than a carbon laminate. That's interesting, that. Right, on to some of the measurements of the bike. Dylan Gronewagen has a saddle height of 51.5 centimetres. The nose of the saddle to the centre of the handlebars is 56 centimetres. And the drop, so the difference in height between the saddle and the handlebars, is 10 centimetres. Before we jump onto the Freehub soundcheck next, what I have just noticed is with the sunlight catching the frame, we can see there's a small pearl effect finish. And what else is noticeable is how thin the paintwork is. You can see some of the graphics with a small lines over the top of them. Now, presumably, they've kept the paint this thin to try and keep the weight of the bike as low as possible. Right, onto that Freehub soundcheck. Let's do this. Wow, that is one angry sounding free hub. Whew. Right, onto the weight now, the GCN scales of truth. Let's get these things calibrated. So, Dylan Gronewager's bike weighs 7.59 kilograms. Whew. So there you have it, the bike of Dylan Gronewagen. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how he fares in the sprints out here in the UAE Tour. So that's gonna be really good. And if you wanna see all of that racing, it's live and on demand on GCN Plus. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And why not let me know what you think of this bike in the comments section down below. Oh, see you later.